Yo, what is up guys? So for today we are talking about the Komodo 4 F3 and essentially I'm going to be doing the review and the guide for it and if I don't sound too enthusiastic about it, it's because I'm not. Linear fusion rifles in my opinion are whatever's, eh, like I really don't care about them and this one's no different. The rolls that it got was sad and the look of it is sad as well. I do acknowledge that they actually did do some changes, but it just doesn't look different to me, like, at all. So, before we start talking about the negatives, let's look at the gun itself. It is a precision frame, fires a long-range precision energy bolt. This weapon's recoil pattern is more predictable vertically. Polygonal rifling barrel optimized for recoil reduction increases stability. Accelerated coil, faster charge time, decreases impact damage. Now, for the first row, you're going to see no distractions and moving target so no distractions is basically once you aim it for a while you get less flinch and moving target just makes the gun more sticky or aiming with it makes it more sticky for the second column we're gonna see eye of the storm and boxed breathing now obviously for these for the roles that you were getting these two no distraction with box breathing obviously is the role that people are gonna be using because why the fuck would you use eye of the storm Eye of the Storm is one of those perks that I just fucking hate. Just give us a base one that gives us the, like half of what this already gives us. I just think Eye of the Storm is a stupid perk. I hate perks that just, oh, I'm about to die. Like literally just look me, them looking at me is going to kill me. So for, for me, Eye of the Storm is useless. Moving target could be re pretty useful, but for the most part, Less flinch equals more precision in, in my opinion. So no distractions with box breathing is probably going to be the best fun. That being said, box breathing is garbage in this because this, I'm pretty sure every linear fusion rifle can one hit kill every super if you get a headshot with it. And box breathing only works if you get a headshot. So box breathing in this feels very redundant in PvP. In PvE, I mean, it's fine guess i don't know like if i sound like i'm really all over the place it's because this gun's not that good like whatever i like i really mean that like whatever i don't care but if you guys want it for whatever reason then i mean i'm gonna do the guide right now but also comes with charge time masterwork i forgot to say and yeah i, didn't, I haven't even put a mod because i'm just like i'm never gonna use you like it's just I, it's just useless in my opinion. It really is. So, change the skin real quick. And, yeah, okay. So, how do you get the weapon, Tony? I know you're talking all this mad shit. I still want it. Okay, cool. Calm down. All right, I'll tell you how to get it. So, in order to get this weapon, you are going to need to go to Shacks and pick up the Fire Breather quest. From there, you're going to have to get 15 Precision Final Blows and then 125 five final blows. Then you have to go to the glory playlist, which is comp and go up to heroic. So yeah, the fact that they went to heroic kind of surprised me, but at the same time I was like, oh good. Cause like, I'm not really trying to go to myth or not mythic. I'm not trying to go to fabled for a fucking linear fusion rifle. So I'm pretty sure they did that. Cause it's like, it's a linear fusion. People are not going to want to go to uh, fabled. So, I mean, there is that I, I killed this in one day. So if you guys really want, then just do that. If you guys want some pointers in how to do that, because I did do it in a day and it was not hard at all. If you guys have the exotic, the Arbalist, which is looking like something the Drifter made, which I am wouldn't even doubt if he did, but get the Arbalist because it's a linear fusion rifle, but it's a special linear fusion rifle. So you can use that. You can use Sleeper Simulant. You could use the Queen Breaker. Now, I don't think they have one for the special slot, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they don't. Actually, I would like to see if Devil's Ruin, if the laser acted like a linear fusion rifle. But other than that, yeah, that would be pretty much it. Those would be the only exotics that you could pretty much use is the Arbalist the super simulant and the queen breaker now obviously arbalist is going to be your best choice because if you use arbalist then you can use arbalist on your first 
anything on your on your second and then on your third you could use another linear fusion rifle like like the crooked fang f4 f no 4f r and i guess that's the only one yeah so you could use like three oh line in the sand as well you could use line in the sand i totally forgot about that one but that's how i ended up getting i used i used a lot and i mean a lot of arbalists to get this weapon and it kind of made me realize that the arbalist was actually pretty good but you also got to remember that linear fusion rifles in to in general got a really big buff so that's probably why the arbalist feels different if you are using it that's why i found out so that's pretty much the yeah that's pretty much the review i in my opinion this ritual weapon is the weakest one out of all of them i did say that buzzard was probably the weakest but now that i've been using the komodo and you guys probably have noticed i've not been putting any gameplay of it is because most of most of the time it's a heavy linear fusion rifle which means that in most matches i won't get heavy which means i won't be recording this so for me i was just like fuck it i'm not gonna like make myself use this shit and not get kills because i have gotten kills i'm not going to say i haven't but it just feels useless especially since like i have a few rolls on my crooked fangs that have like moving target and backup plan and then i have another one that's like box breathing and moving target so essentially i already have a role that this ritual weapon that has that has to have quote unquote perks and rolls that you've never seen in a gun or uh perk rotations like i have one already it's literally moving target target and box breathing so i feel like i feel like bungie's idea of ritual weapons is just kind of really bad <laughs> like buzzard buzzard seemed cool until i saw that osmosis was in every other gun from this season then i was like oh, okay cool so i don't care then komodo has actually nothing even resembling anything that i would be interested in i mean like the fact that no distractions and box breathings on together is awesome but this would have been cool like literally a sniper rifle or even shit a scout rifle so should you go for the Komodo? I mean, like, if you really like linear fusion rifles or you're trying to get the title, the savior title, or if you just want to kill some time in PvP, go for it. Other than that, the only reason I went for it is because I like to collect shit and because I had to make this video. And honestly, I don't I don't I don't see this video doing well because people are not gonna be looking for this gun because it's just what the fuck ever. Unless they got some other change or buff. I don't see people using this. So yeah. Other than that, let me know what you guys think about linear fusion rifles in general. So are you tired of seeing Arbalist? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that, but I wanna ask you guys. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the gun. I personally am not the biggest fan of it. I prefer Buzzard over this, and I think Buzzard's pretty weak already. I know for sure the shotgun's going to be my favorite one once I get it. But even then, I already have a shotgun that I use that has one-two punch. So it's mostly just going to be a review weapon, and then I'm just going to stow it. Although Overflow does interest me a bit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. How are you guys liking the PvP experience this season? I think it's okay. I think it still needs help. I would have loved for Tross to come back in this season since it's all Osiris and Mercury themed. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it, especially when I see comments and every and everything. I really do like it because it just helps me. Especially this one guy told me, he's like, I'll oh, keep, keep making videos, man. Keep pushing. And I was like, man, I really needed to hear that because this shit gets real hard sometimes. Especially when you see like no one commenting or subscribing or anything like that. It gets hard, but... It's not the type of video. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'd like to thank everyone again. And if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And other than that, I will see you guys later.